like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's all right to be. Good living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. Good living color. Pajama Johnson? No, 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 no. That's Molly Pajama. That's Akafrin. Oh, <laughs> but my friends call me Lil Magic. See? <laughs> you have a resume? A what? A resume. You know, credit. Oh, credit. I keep me some credit. I got me a LaRon's hair weaving poem card. And you know, Mr. Quan Lee down at the corner store, he give me credit whenever I need it. <laughs> well, I mean, what has she done? What shows has she starred in? Oh, why'd you say that in the first place? Lil Magic had the lead role in the Fulton Project Community Center production of Please Mama Don't Use Crap. And a write on magazines, Miss Snowbright, 1987. See? My baby's gonna get this job. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. We're looking for professional actors in here. You're gonna be looking for a doctor if you don't get the hell out of here. Hey, you can't go in there. You can't go in there. This. this here is Lil Magic. She only the most beautific, one delicious girl in the whole galaxy. That's who. Plus, I'm right on magazine. Miss Smile Bright, 1987. See? I don't have time to see people right now. Oh, hush up, honey. Show the director a Lil Magic. Get it? Mama, mama, my baton. Oh, oh, oh. Here you go, honey. Okay. Let's see ya. Shut up, 
That's my baby. Mama, can I take my tap shoes off? My feet hurt. No. We got two more auditions across town, and you never know who may be on that city bus. Now, you got your transfer? Yes, Mama. Come on, let's go. I've heard the food here is quite excellent. Well, if anybody knows about food, it's Oprah. Oh. <laughs> Champagne, you must be celebrating something special tonight. Well, we yeah. sure are. We've just become engaged. Ooh, girlfriend engaged? Yes. <laughs> so you set a date? Well, no, not yet, but... But sometime soon. Right. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend, let Oprah school you. That is the oldest trick in the book. Really? Honey, a man will use you up. He will lay up in your house. He will spend up your money. He'll live in your condo. And you will never, ever see that gold band on your finger. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? It's just a couple of years until I finish school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until you finish the school. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> oh, girl, do you know what you're in for? I've been down this road, honey. So many things happen in two years. You get stretch marks. You get wrinkles. Girl, he ain't gonna want you in two years. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Hey, men Listen. who fear commitment tonight at Oprah's. I hate you. You want to say what? Uh, nothing. I was just going to the ladies' room. Oh? And leaving these two adorable children by themselves? No, I'm coming right back. Women who abandon their children tonight at Oprah's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to say what? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Why mm -hmm. does she have kids if she's going to abandon them? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a point? Um, well... Make I, your point, make your point. I, 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 I just wanted some butter for the bread. <laughs> the bread. Get, get, get the girl some butter over here. This bread and bread. Mm -hmm. You say what? Take her kids away from yes. her. Yes. Tomorrow night's dinner conversation at Oprah's. I, I, I guess I'll just have the salad. Good. Well, you know, that sounds real good. I'm going to have just what she's having. Men who want to be women tonight at Oprah's. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm perfectly happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have something to say? You yes. say what's well, up. Oh, right. um, my name is Cindy. Uh, but just a few short years ago, I was a man named Hank. I, I think I understand some of your pain, sir. But no, no, wait a minute, please, stop! Get rid of Did the pain. Get rid of the secrets. <laughs> we love you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank Oprah, you. I'm free. I've decided to have a sex change operation ah. tomorrow. From here on out, I'll be known as Taniqua. <laughs> This isn't anything great, but my feet stink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I channel Mom's Mabley and chow, these french fries are terrific. What is your secret? Well, thank you all. Now I have a confession that I have to make. You know, over the years, I've dropped 300 pounds of fat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, guess what? I've been frying your food in it. Oh! <laughs>
your top open. Now get your head out of here. Come on. Find your ass on down the street. Get <laughs> yeah. okay, around, children. Right now. Y'all want the pictures drawn to be one dollar a piece. Hobby, one dollar. Hobby, hobby, draw me first. Oh, yeah, you want me to draw you first because you're so cute and sweet and adorable, huh? Yes. Take off your glasses. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll draw you all at the same time. Ooh. Sorry, homie. There you go. Three dollars. Hey, wait a minute, homie. I which one's me? Easy, you the big dumb one. Now give my money. See what I'm talking about? A black circus clown. He'd make the perfect spokesman for our product. Let's make him an offer. Y'all yeah, better give my damn money. Okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it ain't Bobo and Mr. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got your passports. You get in homie country now. Homie, my company is producing a new sugar-coated kid cereal, and I want you to be the company spokesman. Oh, yeah, right. You want me to help you further oppress my people by getting them to eat stuff that'll make their teeth rot and fall out their mouth? I don't... Did I mention the job pays a million dollars a year? <laughs> I don't think I have a problem with that. Homie pays that. Here's the homie sign. Right there, homie. <laughs> Still declined. <laughs> <laughs> homie Weeds, take five. Hi. I'm Homie the Clown. And kids love me. Tell me, little children, why do you love Homie so? Because you're so dumb! <laughs> I may be just a dumb old clown, but I'm smart enough to love the sugary taste of Homie Weeds. Now, if I could just get my hands on something. <laughs> Outsmarted again. Looks like I'll be denied the 100% sugary taste of homie wheat. The cereal that goes bop, bop, bop. Not me, children. The cereal. <laughs> so remember, little children, do what the man says. Go out and buy yourself a box of new homie wheats. The only cereal made from cookies, marshmallows, sugar cubes, and other nutritional pieces of candy. Now this is a cereal a homie can play. Welcome to Shea Whitey. Thank you, Julio. Always have trouble with them clown shoes. <laughs> Here you go. It's a dollar. Don't spin it all in one place. <laughs> Watch the car. Oh, me. Hunter. Hunter, come on and got your favorite table. Oh, great. Well, well, Mr. Charlie, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> Where you been? You're a half an hour late. You know me. I'm on CP time. Homie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Homie, everyone's saying you sold out to the establishment. Say it ain't so, homie. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Good, here. Here's your old sock. Bought me one. Homie, oh, homie, homie, homie. Look, homie. Look, I can get, like, a uh, good tax write-off with this, couldn't I? <laughs> oh, no, 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 homie, come on, come on, homie. Diss me. Remember this? Come on, here. Come on, diss me, homie. Uh, <laughs> come on, homie. Oh, uh, no, no, hey, I don't think so. Homie don't play that for free anymore. He gets a hundred thousand bucks to bop now, and I'm afraid you just can't afford it. So Sorry. beat it, kid. Come on, homie. Sorry, Charlie. Get you next time. Go You're not homie the clown. You're homie the man. Good <laughs> sucker. Public Access Channel 68 and a half proudly presents Men on Television. Hello, I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Mayweather. 
and welcome, welcome to, to Men on Television, the show that looks at TV from a male point of view. Mm -hmm. We've taken a look at examples of shows from all four networks. First, there was NBC. It used to stand for nothing but Cosby. Now, you know, they have that new show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Well, listen, there's nothing fresh about this prince. And it's definitely not the prince I was looking for. I was looking for a purple G-string and some high heels. Mm -hmm. Ditto. <laughs> then there was Golden Girls. Hated it. <laughs> Would you tell me who cares about three old white heifers in a house? <laughs> Next we go to CBS. The first show we took a look at was Designing Women. Hated, Hated it. <laughs> now, you know, I don't know who designed these women, but they need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> That's right, if that Delta 747 gets any bigger, they're gonna have to widen the runway chat. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it CBS, because that's, that's all, all you, you see. <laughs> BS. <laughs> then we have Murder, She Wrote. Now, this show is always about some old lady running around trying to find out who done it, when it's obvious she ain't done it in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> then we come to ABC, which must stand for Ass Backwards and Country. <laughs> First, we had Perfect Strangers. Mm -hmm. There's a story about two men's, one a little Greek boy, mm -hmm. distantly related, but thrown together in a big evil city, living in a cramped apartment, sharing the same house shoes and toothpaste. I gotta shift my seat. <laughs> If you ask me, I think that little Balky would be much happier back home with all them sheep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I just thought I heard a chicken. Um, <laughs> next, we come to Roseanne. Hated it. it. <laughs> now, that's the kind of woman made me switch in the first place. Mm. something. Doesn't Roseanne remind you of Gerald, you know, from Lacage? Mm -hmm. And isn't her husband kin to that Arnold on Green Acres? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, it seems like they don't know how to make good TV anymore. I agree. That's why we decided to review our favorite series from the past. Mm -hmm. The Six Million Dollar Man. Mm. <laughs> Lee Majors rebuilt from scratch into a bionic hunk of man with a budget of six million dollars. Well, if it was my money, you can guess where five million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand would have went. That's why we're gonna give this one the one time only patty cake snap. <laughs> Tell us. Tell the friend, chat. Oh. oh, my Lord. Lee. 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 Call a doctor. This, I think he needs mouse to mouse resuscitation. Hey, 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 man, hey. Man, what you doing, man? Blaine? Blaine, are you okay? Hey, I'm all right. What's up with you? What's what's these funny clothes about, man? Man, your hat. This ain't my hat, man. Get that little thing out of here. Yo, let's finish this show, Tony. Well, I I, I don't know. Uh, uh... What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, I'm all right, man. What's up with you? Let's finish the show. Finish the show. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we come to that sly fox of a network and their show married with children. Loved hated it. it. <laughs> what you talking about hated it, man? That girl is fine. The blonde one with the, the blonde? <laughs> Look like she hiding two midgets, man. <laughs> what? 
Many sketches. Ooh. What's your favorite part? The guy. I'm the dead man. He's the dead man. <laughs> He's the dead man. The guy. There's all those, all those roles that you po folks think are so unimportant. This is the guy who volunteers for yeah. yeah. I just want to say, we had a, a fun year, and uh, we hope that you guys will definitely have a safe and prosperous summer. And you'll join us next season, along with the Rainbow Coalition behind me. To make the show a success, remember, keep the living color alive! Yeah.